Resolving Forces by Kscience.com. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. Not all forces act vertically or horizontally. As you can see here, this force that is pulling the car along is acting diagonally. You can split this diagonal component into two other components, the vertical and the horizontal force. Acting together, the vertical and the horizontal component will have the same effect as the single diagonal force. The single diagonal component acting on this car is 7.4 newtons because one centimeter equals one newton is 7.4 newtons. You can resolve this force by splitting it into the two components. So we can now draw a line up to the tip of the diagonal force and that is the horizontal component. And then you can draw the vertical component. Now we can measure the vertical component as we're doing here. And to work out the magnitude of the force, you simply measure them and calculate the force based on the scale, where one centimeter equals one newton. So the vertical component is 3.5 centimeters, which means the magnitude of the vertical component is 3.5 newtons. The magnitude of the horizontal force measures 6.5 centimeters, which means the magnitude of the force is 6.5 newtons. You can also measure the direction that the magnitude of the single component is acting in, and you can do that using a protractor, which is 27 degrees. So this block is being pulled along, and the magnitude of this force can be calculated by measuring the line and then converting it into newtons using your scale. So this is 5.4 centimeters, which gives you a force of 54 newtons. You can then split this single force into the vertical and horizontal components. The vertical component also equals 3.5 centimeters, which means the magnitude of the vertical component is 35 newtons. And the horizontal component equals 4 centimeters. Using our scale, this means the magnitude of the horizontal component is 40 newtons. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.